Hey fam, it's your girl Amy J, your personal hype man and friend here today on this Thursday, March 12th, 2020 guys, checking in as always to see how are you doing. It's a new day, a new chance for you to chase your dreams and I hope you are doing just that. But when we chase our dreams, there's a tendency to go all in or just in general. Sometimes when we're given a responsibility, we go all in, throw our 100% into it. And the problem per se with that is other things begin to suffer, right? If you're always focusing on your dreams and not giving time and attention to your family, to your friends, to your other responsibilities, something's going to suffer. Something is going to be affected. You can't avoid that. Something is absolutely going to be affected. What you can do though is mitigate the circumstances because aside from life being like a box of chocolate and how you never know what you're going to get, life is also like a seesaw where there are going to be ups and there are going to be downs. Never is it ever 50-50. So when we look at all of our responsibilities, there are going to be times when some will be higher and some will be lower. But we have to also go the other direction and make sure all of them get time and attention so that all of them are greater than the other. And so when I say that, what I mean is there's going to be times where you need to give a little and take from another. Never is it going to balance, right? So if you're working on your dreams, a few hours extra each day, make sure you give a few hours somewhere else on another day to your family. And sometimes when you have to be at your kids' recitals, plays, sports, whatever, right? Make sure you give 100% attention to those things. Give it to that. And then stay up a little later. Go to bed a little earlier. Wake up a little earlier and work a little bit longer on your dreams. You have to find what works for you. There is no set path and formula that will work for everybody. We're all different creatures of habit. We all operate differently. But you have to decide what is going to work. And I would recommend that you have a conversation with all those involved in your life before you go deciding what's being sacrificed and what is getting your attention, right? Because people just want to know up front what's going on. They don't want to feel neglected. You're not neglecting them if you plan in advance and have a conversation with them. So keep that in mind, okay? Because communication is so key that everyone is on the same page, that everyone is helping one another so that adjustments can be made, accommodations can be arranged so that someone else will help pick up the kids or that you pick up dinner while someone else is doing something else. You got to find out what works. But when people say, hey, I can't find a work-life balance, that's understandable. Sometimes you got to give work a little bit more, but don't forget to also give your family life a little bit more or your other responsibilities. If you are a troop leader or something like that, right? You got to find what works for you. Very rarely do we find a 50-50 balance at any one time. That's the thing. Work-life balance means being able to juggle all of the responsibilities and things you have in your life and make sure you identify it, but never will it be 50-50. Sometimes it's going to be lopsided, 60-40, and then other times it'll be 40-60, right? So that's why it's like a seesaw. Things will balance out, but never really 50-50. If you find 50-50, cool, I'm very happy for you. But until then, make sure you adjust expectations in your life and with those involved in your life, right? So that's the important thing to keep in mind, guys, because when you do that, you have a better mental state because everyone's aware of what's going on. Everyone's on the same page. Just remember, check in periodically to make sure they stay on the same page, all right? So remember that, guys, go out, chase your dreams, be happy own your life. And remember, you are awesome. You are loved. You are needed. And most importantly, most importantly, you are enough as you are, just the way you are. So never forget that. All right, guys, until next time, remember, don't stop. Keep chasing.